What is going on, YouTube? This your boy, Cable Tech 23. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode, Life of a Cable Technician. Folks, we're up early, as always, ready to get these jobs done. Um, I think today's going to be another warm day, man. Yesterday was pretty hot, so I'm, I, I got a good feeling that today's going to be the same, man. Uh, but anyway, today's video is going to be a much in detail video, uh, a very important video. This is a video that I got, uh, a lot of people have been asking for in the comment section. The XM2 meter. Yep, that's right. You see it. When I first started out, when I first started out with uh, Comcast, you know, especially during the hiring process, I was coming from a different system, Cox Communications. Um, and during that during that process, I was always trying to find out, you know, what I'm saying, what type of meter did Comcast use? Right. Anyway, there there really wasn't that many videos about the XM meters. I mean, it was maybe like one or two channels and shout out to those channels that do show that information. But for XM2 meters, you're not really gonna find much about it. Go ahead and break that ice, man, and finally put out a video for you guys to explain in detail about the XM2 meter, how to connect to it, how to read your levels, ingress, all that. Stay good. tuned on our way to our first job, which is an install. I'll see you guys there. Just finished customer contact. So this job is a brand, brand new install, man. Um, we don't have no drop, we don't have no ground block, we don't have nothing here. So I'm here to put in everything. As you can see right here, there's no obstructions in the way, no trees, no bushes, none of that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and run this drop real quick and uh, take you guys to the pole and um, get that meter information set up for you. All right, YouTube. In the process of running this drop guys if you want to learn how i do my uh my hooks make sure you check out episode 12 i break that down on how i uh secure the uh okay folks we are here at the tap finally ran my drop over there at the house so now i just gotta take off one of these terminators All right, YouTube, we are here at the tap. Got the meter locked in. Got the meter inside of the tap, ready to get some signals out of here. So before I get started and going into the system, I just wanna give a brief overview of the meter itself. So this meter is basically kind of like a Wi-Fi mode. It gives you off a network and you have to sign in with that network with a password um, inside of the settings of your device, whether it's a phone or iPad. Um, and that is all because as you can see this meter does not have any buttons it doesn't have any you know what i'm saying all it has is just a power button ethernet a couple of usb ports and that is it so um but yeah that's basically what it is it's just a wi-fi modem so um yeah so now we're gonna go inside the system and read some levels once you're in the settings you're gonna click on wi-fi you want to connect to that network this is it right here xm2 um for people that are just now signing into the device um it should be the same password for all of the uh meters which is the uh, default key lowercase d default key um all lowercase all right so once you connect to here then you want to scroll over to the xm app Okay, so we are now inside of the XM2 meter. Um, what you want to do first and foremost is you want to click on where it says no job. As I like to run four tests at the tap and ground block, um, which is the DX spectrum, DOCSIS, because I like to know the levels that I'm getting at the tap, upstream and downstream. Flux, I like to make sure the connectivity at the tap is real good. And also the ingress. Ingress is also uh, very important. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to run this DOCSIS. As you can see, this is my upstream coming in at 37. Downstream is at 13, 14 dBs, which is pretty good. Not bad. Okay, flux. I'd like to check out the flux here. There's four, 17, 23, 30. 36 so flux is looking real good we got good connectivity in this tap nothing damaged all right it's the dx spectrum uh, this one here this test is uh specifically for the back office they like to know what's going on with these taps i guess it helps out the maintenance crew channel 
when I click on tap, it's gonna ask for the information of the tap. So the tap that we're on right now is a two port tap. The value of this bad boy is going to be 23. All this is listing under the tap. So I wanna scroll over to 23 value. And voila, there we go. I could do his thing. All right, got the check mark. Got the successfully uploaded message. So now we're gonna scroll over to the last one. And that is going to be the ingress. So right now I'm unscrewing my wire from my uh, meter, plugging into the wire of the drop. I know the ingress is gonna be good. This is a brand new install. As you can see, we'll go ahead and save that, drop that tap. All right. I'm going to come here to uploads. And that is it. Ingress has a success. All right, folks. So now I just screwed in the drop. Got the new tag on it. Got the new tag on it, 162. That's the address. And we're going to continue on over inside of the basement and make more of the connections. Just ran the brand new drop. There it is to the pole. New ground block, nice and grounded. The ground tag. We're in business. Whew. Been at this job for a while now, man. Um, freaking wall plates slowing me down. But before I finish up here, folks, I just want to show you guys the equipment. XB7 is what I'm putting in. Go ahead and put that in. Now the customer has an XB6 already, but he would like to get an XB7. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for him. XB7 and also a DVR right here. So, all right, people, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And uh, yeah, finally got the job done, folks. Man, spent too much time than I expected. <sighs> but I finally got it done. Um, so now we're gonna make our way to our next job, which is a 10 o'clock appointment. It's currently 11 o'clock right now. The next job should be pretty easy. Um, it's going to be a internet install. Um, so yeah, I see you guys there. Second job of the day. Another install, just internet, like I said earlier. Um, might have to do a little bit of work, but that's the pole that I'm going to right there, as you can see. <sighs> All right, ready to go up. As you see, safety first. Got the cones out, lag is set up. We're good to go, man. Now this job, supposed to have a drop already, but uh, I guess we'll have to go up there to find out. Stay tuned, on my way up. All right, YouTube, here at the tap. Got my meter right here. So I found my line already. It's gonna be this one right here. It's a very, very, ugly fitting on this so we're gonna go ahead and change this fitting we gotta test the signal out the tap anyway so as you guys can see i'm safely strapped safety is always first guys before you do anything on this pole make sure you're safely strapped we all want to go home to our families at the end of the day so that should be the most important thing on the field, always safety All first. Right, folks, got a new fitting on it. This is the line right here, right All there. Right. Got off the pole here at the ground block. Look at this mess. Wires are everywhere. Now, luckily, I was able to find the wire that is leading to my building, my unit. And that's going to be this one right here. As you can see, it goes all the way up. And it goes right into where my customer got it connected. This is the new ground block. Nice and grounded. Volker filter. We're good to go. All right, you two. Got that job done. I hooked up the customer's XB6 and his wireless box. It was a flex account. So now we have a 12 o'clock appointment, which is another install. Guys, they loaded me with a ton of installs today um, on this very hot summer day. Um, but before I go to that job, guys, I need a break. Um, 
I'm going to go grab some lunch real quick and I'll see you guys. Uh, I tell you, man, I keep getting obstacles thrown my way at this job. So I don't have access to the lockbox here. Um, maintenance is not around to allow me in. So there is a ground block in this customer's basement. So I'm going to go in there and uh, see if I can get a good connection. Uh, hopefully I get some signal and uh, we'll take it from there. If not, I have to be a reschedule, man. But I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you know. I'll try to get some footage in the basement. I may not talk much, but um, yeah, let's get it. Man, I was very excited. I was able to get some signal in that basement, man. Uh, so basically after that, I went on here and traced down the line that I was gonna use to hook up that modem. And uh, yeah, I uh, hooked up the customer. He got really good good internet speed, really good signal levels. My upstream came in at 37.5. Uh, downstream came in at four, 3.5, kind of around in that range. Um, but yeah, folks, got him up, got him running, man. This is your boy, Cable Tech 23. As always, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode, Life of a Cable Technician. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys find this one very informative. All the new people that are viewing, please hit that like, that subscribe, share it, do whatever you gotta do, man. Until next time, peace.